Hello guys and welcome back. So I have uh, how much? 60 frames and it took 10 minutes for it to cache including the viewport display which adds a lot to the slowness of this and the the reason this is exploding like that is because the temperature is very very strong and you can see here for example this point it's shooting temperature really high like a flame and as soon as it starts shooting it collides with the geometry next to it and causes this to happen. So we just have to reduce the amount of uh, temperature we have to fix that issue. But overall I'm pretty happy with the sim, the effect and all and everything is working as expected and uh, maybe we can animate the temperature field so it's not static at the same frame. see 61 and I'll tell you why it did error cool so this is the result and we're gonna tackle and look at creating a different effects now and the reason it erred out is because uh, this geometry this node here has report error when there is a missing frame because we're trying to use it beyond its frame range so we just have to change this to no geometry same as well for this one and that way Houdini doesn't uh, throw an error when that happens alright let me copy these guys I'm gonna create a new geo node and call this fast moving I want to illustrate an issue and an idea on how we can fix it. So I'm gonna have an object and let's see I'm gonna put down a transform and let's move this object a bit like that. I'm gonna have it rotate like this. So dollar F okay it's not too fast for what I need it for. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to create a BDB from Polygon and convert this into a density field before we transform it. And then we're transforming it, which is great. Let's connect that here. And let's disable all these guys. No need for gravity or anything. And let's make sure the object is covered inside the domain. Set this to 2. We don't need the gas resize. And actually, this is outsource smoke. And we don't have to do. Yeah, cool. So this is good. Let's move this down. And let's hit play. I'm going to uh, scale this down so it's faster to work with. Okay, and I think the issue is clear. You can see stepping there and uh, as soon as the object moves, there is the turbulence that picks up and we got a nice ring of fire or uh, sorry, of smoke. Now, how do we fix that, the stepping typically? Well, what we can do is we can go to the solver and increase the sub step, let's say three and five. And this will run three times minimum and five times maximum between the frames to, uh, to try and run multiple sims in between each frame to fix that stepping issue. Now it looks like with this, the reason it's not uh, working with the sub-stepping is because we're shifting it every frame so when Houdini looks it up at this frame it sees uh, this value when it looks it up at this frame it sees uh, this value but if we check in between the steps so let's say I want to increment every 0.2 so five times you see the object is not moving so Houdini, when the solver does the subsampling, it doesn't see any difference. What we need to use is the $FF instead of F. And this will return the current subsample 
you see it now moving nicely. Let's set this back to 1. Let's dive back in. Set this to 3 and 5. And see now we're getting smoother emission. But we need to keep uh, increasing this. And now we're gone to 3 to 5 times slower sim compared to the original one. So my workflow for this is to use uh, particles instead and create uh, a different source. So I'm going to compute the uh, the velocity for this. Sorry, not this guy. I don't need that. So in the original geometry, this is moving now, and it has velocity. And let me change it to VDB. Uh, sorry, polygons. And actually, let's do this. So this guy, we have a sphere. And I'm going to fill that sphere, uh, the density, with points. Okay, instead of volume, I'm going to fill it with points. Say 10,000. So much, 2,000. And now we're transforming the points. They're not changing. So when we compute the velocity for them, we got we get the nice, uh, the correct angle. So I'm going to use another trail now to make extra copies of that but instead of the increment being one I'm gonna lower it and increase the steps and this will fill in uh, form in a volume extruded from this sphere so now we have a longer trail and with this we don't have to worry about the yeah, well let's let's convert this into a volume now so I'm going to use VDB from particles because those are points and I don't need a distance, I need a fog volume and I'm going to lower the point scale to 0.2 and now we have um, converted those into a volume. Cool, let's dive back in. And now we have a perfect emission. We don't need to subsample anything whatsoever for this to work. Now why would I uh, need this? Well we're gonna create a fast moving uh, emission. Uh, we're gonna create the sim from a fast moving object and this object is what we've created in last week. So I have this sim if you guys remember after it hits I, I have those those guys and let's last one stream delete one selected and we should get the let's see. okay yep so we have this guy and what I want to do is I want to create a smoke sim out of this but I don't want to, I want to create an interesting emission from this. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to time shift it back to zero, uh, to one, so I don't have to w wait for 35. I'm going to say $F minus 35, or plus 35, sorry. And now we're in the correct frame, 34, yep. Just need a point, and if we expand, cool. And what I want to do is I want to isolate the fast moving pieces. We've done that last week using uh, the ground emission. Remember we created a mask for that using this. I'm going to copy this whole chain again and reuse it. So let's copy these, this only and the blast and the time shift and let's do this separate. Okay, there is that, and now let's find the correct temperature, the correct speed. I think the same values are good, so we were using 5 and 15, okay. I'm going to delete everything except those, and now I want to use this as my volume source, but we're going to get, we're going to run into that issue of the stepping, because these objects 
are moving really, really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same old replicate node to, that trails them, that stretches them along the velocity. And I can actually stretch it even more. can try one uh, point, point four is good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another node and trail these guys so preserve geo and now we're creating a copy of those points on top of them Let's go to this frame. Okay. And the trail looks like it's it's not moving well. So I'm not gonna create the trail. This is enough. These points are enough for me to create the mission. We're not gonna create a super close-up sim, uh, but if we needed to, we can always go back to the original sim and sim a higher version. Now that this is one of the best workflows to emit and um, to emit smoke with and capture all these details. It's almost impossible to create this velocity in in DOPS using any any methods you can think of. We have to prepare data like this for DOPS um, to use. So that's all I have to do. I'm not gonna change too much. I'm gonna use a VDB from particles. Okay. And let's convert all those guys into a volume. So here I'm gonna set it to 0.1. And we need to lower this because the the voxel the particle is the same size of the voxel so it doesn't capture that and let's set this uh, minimum width to one and now we're converting all that to an awesome volume let's see the resolution still not high enough so let's increase it cool so this is going to be uh, our source I'm going to lower the resolution for the sake of speed and I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to take the velocity field, uh, the point velocity and uh, add a velocity field from, the, from those points. So here, when I went to frame one, it froze. And the reason for that is because everything is stacked in this location at this frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip all the points below zero. And we've, uh, let's copy this node. And I'm going to say if at p dot y is less than zero, remove points. And I was going to delete all of them. And that should make it easier to generate the SDF. Uh, sorry, the volume. It's taking time because everything is on top of each other. And it's scaling from very small to super wide quickly. So unfortunately, the unless we tweak this scale radius we're gonna get a blurry result in the beginning which is not a big deal at this point so let's call this source from dust source smoke okay and i'm gonna save 30 frames or 20 frames i can't remember how much we have Twenty frames. Good. I'm gonna pause for a second, and we'll continue uh, once this is done. Okay, so the sim is done. Uh, it took less than a minute, and this is the source.
Obviously, it's quite heavy to display this. So let me change the viewer, and that's our source. Let's hit play again, and that's our source. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna time shift this one frame. I want the, fr the first frame to be empty. Let's say dollar f minus one. I'm gonna say no geo. So that way, first frame is empty. And what? Oh, sorry. Okay. Now I know in advance that I need a couple more things for this to work. So let me copy the solver from this guy. As it is, I need this bound, I need this scatter. Uh, maybe we'll need this, I don't know. Maybe this stuff too. BG1, okay. So uh, let's do. Let's create our own resize. So we scatter some points, compute the bound, and I'm gonna create. I can time. I can do that by hand. So actually, the first frame we don't have to worry about the sim because everything will get uh, fixed. We just have to make sure that there is some data. And I have a shortcut to turn on and off this manual thing. Uh, that I'm using a lot so if you guys uh, see me working fast in some occasions that means and there is no sim that's because I'm disabling it and by we can do it here auto update means every time you change a value it recooks or we can set it to manual so it doesn't update Let's set this to point 0.2 and we don't need temperature Actually, we don't have temperature, or we will add it, but for now, we'll leave it at that. Velocity, we do have velocity. No, we do not. So I forgot to add the velocity to the points. So let me pause again. Let's cook one frame. Yeah, we need it to set V, and let's call this Vel, and I'll pause quickly, rerun this, and we'll continue in a few seconds. Cool, so now the source has the velocity field, and let's go back to the sim. Let's change to this. Sometimes the viewer uh, freezes. And I'm not sure why it has particles now, so I'm gonna close it and recreate a new one. And let's reset this to light. Okay. Source, let's fix the source object. And for the bound, we're going to use the source one. Scatter, but I can't remember. Uh, smoke bound. cool let's go back and I need the ground I need the gravity uh, I need this the same density we're, we're gonna set it to one we don't have temperature and nothing is happening so let's, let's debug this let's first turn off the the gas resize in, ga in case there is an issue Let's see what we have. Okay, let's make sure the smoke is co uh, connected to the correct node. So it was pointing to this guy. I'm gonna disconnect this. The sphere, whatever. Uh, sorry, I've, yeah, something I did before. So let's move that. Okay. 
I'm gonna switch this because the viewer is not helping and this way it's faster now uh, new source and to be a hundred percent sure object merge drag this in here okay hopefully we'll get some emission yep let's hit play nice Okay, let's do the, the resize, turn it on. And we have smoke coming out and looking very, very cool. Now I left the noises and everything the same. What I want to do now is I'm gonna show you how to add interesting noise in in uh, in here in vops to vary this uh, this field because if we look at the sim sorry it's quickly if we look at the sim you can see it's very uniform the silhouette here there's this big blob and we're going to use uh, volume vop to process the data here to process the velocity field add some more interesting details to it and then we're going to feed it back maybe we'll create a temp uh, uh, temperature field and use it to add interesting movements but we don't have to display it we can always use the temperature field and the buoyancy uh, feature and we don't have to display it so we'll continue that in the next video thank you guys for watching and see you in a bit